They say this is a big rich town I just come from the poorest part Bright light city life, I gotta make it This is where it goes down I just happen to come up hard I never took a straight path nowhere Life's full of twists and turns Bumps and bruises I live, I learn I'm from that city Full of yellow cabs And skyscrapers It's hard to get a start In these parts Without paper Homie, I'm What's going on everyone? This is your Hood Geniuses Podcast And this is Lady T And this is Ms. 100 And this is episode 73 There you go There you go There you go One, two, three Let's go You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yup, yup, yup Yep. Y'all know how we like to do this. We always start off with our how was our weeks. Um, Miz, you wanna go first? Yeah, I'm gonna get into this real, you know, straight up, straight. Fuck it, you know what I mean? Um, my week started off good. Well, the whole week was good actually. I, I went and got a chance to see the Jurassic Park movie, the new Jurassic Park movie, okay. which um, I fuck with the movies. Um, it was real good. I mean, like. I don't know if you've seen it, Lady T, but... No, my kids saw it. They really enjoyed it, so... Oh, 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 so you did see it. Yeah, so you know what I mean. It was, like, action-packed. No, I didn't see it, but the... Oh, the kids seen it. Yeah, okay, I got you. saw it. The yeah, yeah, it. yeah. That, the kids definitely would love it. Yeah, you know they enjoyed what I mean? it. They really enjoyed it. Because the good thing about now, with mm-hmm. those kind of movies is, because the technology... Oh, it's awesome. You know what I mean? When you the are graphics old, and everything yeah. is definitely on point. You actually don't see the... The dinosaur, uh, the the, the, the malfunctioning, you know. He, yeah, yeah, he yeah. Is, is, is on point. Yeah, and it's it's so dope because like when you're old head like me, that seen the original one. Oh man, horrible. You know what I mean? No, it, it was back then. It was amazing. You know what I mean? I mean, for for for, for that back era. then here for that era, yeah. It was like what ninety three, probably yeah. something like that. Now, now it's just it's so Yo, realistic. Yeah, like I mean, you be looking like, damn, what these motherfuckers is really alive or something like? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, damn. I yeah. mean, you know, I, it, it was really dope, yo. Um, you know, I always look at them type of movies and always look for the subliminal messages. You know, because that's the nerd in me. But, um. As you should be. Yeah, you know, it was dope, real dope. Um, the rest of the week was cool. Um, no problems. Work week was good. You know, it, it was it was a dope I week. Go ahead and clap. Listen, I just be on pins and needles when you start talking about your work week. Yeah, I yeah. I be wanting to know if I got a, you know, hold down the equipment. Is you going to flip the table? Oh, uh, man, some hawk shit, huh? Yeah, you know. Yeah. I be on point. Yeah, yo. Um, I mean, uh, and we. You know, uh, we finished the week out pretty good. With oh, the, did we ever? With, yeah, with the invite to. Oh man! You know, we got an invite to be on uh, to make a cameo and a up and coming rapper. Yeah. Uh, his name is Mike Champagne. Yeah. Um, for the single Head Buster. Head Buster, y'all. Yep, and we got a chance to be on the set while they was shooting the video, and you know, we was in the behind the scenes waiting to get our chance to do the cameo. Mm-hmm. And it, it actually turned into a party. I just want to give a shout out to those out there in that industry, really like in that music field and doing those videos. Like it's a lot of work. And I just want if I have the wig, I take it off and put it on this table right now because it's a lot of work yep. in that. And I, for me to actually be there and to actually see it and to experience that, I was exhausted. Yeah. And how many? And you ain't even an artist. And I'm not even an artist. Yeah. All you know, but things. I'm gonna tell you one thing. I would have mastered. I would have mastered mm-hmm. that dancing part. Oh yeah, the the, the little chicks and yeah, shit. Yeah, but listen, yeah. did you see the one boy? He was pointing over to like look at my energy. And what I was trying to say was like you got to put more energy energy into the music. You got to kind of like go with the mood. Yeah. yeah, you know the energy of that music, and it was it was dope. Yeah, but you know one of the chicks, you know uh, her mom was there, yeah. so she she ain't wanna. She felt kind, you know, felt uncomfortable until uh, well, listen, her, her mom, mom walked away her, and she was right. She was her okay. mom put her in that position. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. if my mom put me in position, listen, I'm not going to disappoint you. Mm-hmm. You know, but at the same time, too, I kind of see what you're saying, but it's like sometimes you don't have to bear all to be sexy. Yeah, and she you know did, I mean? She wasn't bearing. She wasn't bearing all. She probably did just feel just a little bit tea, you know what I'm saying? Because with, actually, with the, twerking. the way you're moving, sometimes that may show a little more, but overall, mm-hmm. like, they was really nice looking females, you know, and... You know, it wasn't like, you know, the average slutty type, you know, coming off. It was like, you know, yeah. sexy, still classy with it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And 
you know, it's just cute little young bucks. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? it was cool. Yeah, I mean, I don't know about uh, it wasn't slutty like no, you. No, not saying. at all, not yeah. at all. You know, and they was very nice. Yep, yep. Very nice. Gave me a beer and everything. Yeah, it's always about your um, your energy and how you come off. Like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, like not bougie and they mm-hmm. give me shit and or don't talk to me or you know what I'm saying or you got your face beat and you can't move you can't move your lips you really can't talk you just got to stand like a mannequin you know what I'm saying yeah so you know they was like really cool and laid back you know yeah but, yeah. yeah I'm glad you brought that because I actually was going you know sit, talk, talk about that but yeah I, I enjoyed myself then we went to the plat yeah yeah that was the final location yeah. out the uh, those in the Philadelphia area well you know Will Smith made the plat famous yeah very famous you know Belmont Plateau is in Fairmount Park you know Philadelphia that's uh, like the largest park in America right. Fairmount Park mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know uh, but yeah it was hot as shit though you know what I'm saying? It was. Like, I mean, so, like you said, to those artists out there that's doing this, they mm-hmm. in the industry doing this, you got to bear the elements and all that while you shooting these, these the music The weather videos conditions. And, yeah, like, it's just crazy. And then there's all other stuff that's going on, too. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes stuff ain't working out, and right. you just got to keep it moving. Technical difficulties. And, yeah. You know, maybe this person not feeling this, and this is, like, so many personalized you got to deal with you know mm-hmm. this person not feeling it this person not feeling it but listen come together and you know what i'm saying that's how you can make it you know go faster yep you know and i mean like you know you just you got to smile through it as well you gotta laugh through it you know yep yep i mean it's summertime of course it's going to be hot but the, what the hell it's going to be hot so it's like you complain about how it is what the fuck? you want to be in a blizzard <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? This then, is how the summers used to be. Right, 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 you know? right. So it was like now it's like we're back to our normal weather right now. We're not trumping, you know, Trump weather no more. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I guess or whatever. You know, it was like as I'm observing, it was like as, as once people got on the same page, it was flowing. Yeah. You know, I don't know what kind of you know stirring up. You know, the the point where you know it was like it was a little off, but you yeah. know that's why I'm like making jokes and making the best out of it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and, and, then we, and, and you know it was crazy though because when it was time for us to make our cameo, mm-hmm. and the cameraman came right up to us, and mm-hmm. we was like, "Hold up, what, what yeah, we supposed, what to, we do? supposed to do?" What and we to he do? turned that joint on, we <laughs> went right into full personalities, right? Shit, it was, like how it was our personalities amazing. are. So it was amazing. And then he showed the replay to us how the how the shit look. Yo, that shit look hot, yo. <laughs> but you know what? Um, I do want to comment. I know we were talking about your week, but because mm. I was there with you on one of those days, I want to talk about how, yeah, we was throwing back shots, right? Of the Jameson whiskey. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? People want to be commenting about, oh, uh, I don't think that looks professional. Oh, uh, I don't think that looks very ladylike. Oh, uh, this and that. Listen, listen, you listening? I don't give up now. I just say I'm gonna start curving my profanity. You know what I'm saying? I do know how to talk. I just talk with passion. I talk with aggression. authority and aggression. And that's just how I talk. You know what I'm saying? And people not even happy with themselves. They don't know who themselves are and quick to criticize and talk about how this and how this shouldn't be. You're not even happy with yourself. You don't know how to enjoy life, period. You don't know how to socialize, but you're so quick to talk and try to badger somebody. I got this one thing to say to you. Mind your business, stay in your lane and pretty much shut the fuck up. Mm-hmm. If you don't got nothing nice to say, if you I mean, seriously, because like, who are you to judge? You know, we were just in the park taking shots. What's wrong with that? Some people drink. Some people snort. Some people shoot up. It ain't what you do, it's how you do it. We were just taking shots, innocent shots. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? We, I wasn't out there half naked twerking, being disrespectful. You didn't see kids around holding the camera for me while I take these shots like you see on some dumbass you know, videos and stuff like that that's going around. We were just having innocent fun, adult fun. And some people don't even know how to do that. Some people don't know how to come around and socialize without their phone. Yep. Being a mute, not really knowing what to say, not really knowing how to enjoy themselves. So for those who always quit to criticize and want to say what you doing wrong and how you think shit, shit should be, shut the fuck up and go sit, sit down somewhere in the corner somewhere. Seriously. I'm tired of people always got something to say when your shit not even right. Take a look in the mirror, you know what I'm saying, and figure out what's wrong with you and figure out why people don't want to be bothered with you. You know what I'm saying? It starts with self. Mm-hmm. So as soon as you come with me and you want to be sitting up here acting like you, my, my first of all, I'm 40 years old. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I know everything. 
I'm always willing to learn shit. But when you come with me with that negative shit, that criticizing stuff, and I know you a fucking boring ass noodle, you know what I'm saying? Don't come with me. Don't come to me with that. Seriously, because I'm gonna shut you down. I'm gonna fucking embarrass you. And that's what I feel about that. It's like I'm, I'm just really getting tired. I'm really tired of being nice to people. You know what I'm saying? Trying to, you know, prevent their feelings from being hurt. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I really know how you are. I really know like the shit about you. Like, go ahead and sit the fuck down somewhere and mind your business. If you ain't got shit nice to say to me, don't say it to me at all. If it's not going to really help me and teach me anything besides you trying to tell me how to live my life, as long as I take care of my kids and they straight and my household is good, I don't give a fuck what nobody got to say. Now, if you lie to me, Everybody know late T. I'm going to pull up on you. I'm going to jump out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing. Yeah. That's the only problem I had. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We sitting up here having a good time. Here come up. Oh, well, I don't think we should. How about you go live your fucking life? You go be happy with your miserable ass. Yeah. People is really miserable out here and just really be trying to pull you in to they, to, to they little party, they miserable party. Motherfuckers mm-hmm. really waking up miserable like, oh, miserable. I'm so sad. I got big everybody else around me sad too. Mm-hmm. Keep that shit over there. Yeah. I don't got time for that. Yeah, though. Know. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to keep living my life. And I'm going to be happy. And if I want to go out every night, as long as my household is straight, I'm a single woman. I could do what the fuck I want to do. You know what I'm saying? If I want to, at 11 o'clock at night, go have a drink somewhere. So mm-hmm. the fuck what? Yeah. My household is straight. You know what I'm saying? I'm out out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I never had hard times, but so the fuck what? Yeah. We all have our hard times. People so quick to try to knock somebody and down somebody trying to, you know what I mean, help somebody. And it be the same people that come criticizing that don't even try to help the next person. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You so selfish and, and just want to be miserable and hateful that you don't even try to help the next person. You come up a little bit, they think you're the shit, and then you up on this high horse and you looking down on people. Instead of saying, you know what, damn, I got a little extra. Let me let me give, let me let me break bread and help the next person. Mm-hmm. And when you do that, shut the fuck up about it. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Not Roasting the bragging, yeah, I, I helped this person, not this person. If you're not doing shit from the heart, keep it. Especially with me. Yeah. As soon as I hear you, you out here talking about you, what you did, and this and it for me, I'm going to make sure you get it back, and I'm never going to speak to you again in life. Because I don't mm-hmm. like selfish, sense, self-centered people. I don't, yeah. I, I just, I, I can't deal with it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And it's not me being judgmental. It's about me just keeping 100. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want the, if you don't want the truth, and you can't tell me the truth, stay the fuck away from me. I don't need people like that around. I don't need people like that in my circle. You got fucked up energy and you having a bad thing. You think you're gonna take it out on me? I'm gonna be your punching bag? Yep. I'm cool on that. Stay away from me. I'm good. Like, I came to this world by myself. I know I'm gonna leave out by myself. Yeah, it is. I don't need no fucking friends like that or somebody just newcomer, whatever. Yeah. Whatever it is. Hey, look, I'm yeah. good. It is what it is. We exactly. just gonna keep it moving. Exactly. Um, I just had to get that off my chest because that kind of ground my gears. Yeah. That Motherfucker, so so quick to say something, but you're not even networking. If you know somebody that got something going on and you, somebody needs some help, you like, damn, my homie, or I know somebody. Mm-hmm. No, you want to keep this up? I don't see that motherfucker come up. Oh, I, I don't know. No, nah, nah, I remember that such, such told me no or something like that. That's, Hateful shit. Yeah, that's what niggas do. Hateful stuff. And guess what? Stay the fuck away from me. I'm yeah. cool, and I fall back from you too. Yeah, I fall back because I don't need that shit around. I don't need that energy around me. Nah. When I'm good. Good vibes only. That's uh, how I feel about it. Exactly. So yeah, I reach for you. I feel a whole total different way there. I'm not. I know. I don't. I no longer care about how the fuck you feel if you're a fucked up individual. No, yeah. no, no longer trying to prevent your feelings from being hurt, being understanding. Because guess what? You don't give a fuck about mine. So why should I care about yours? Only people I should care about is the ones I birthed on this earth. Yeah. And the, and the, my sitting circle that, you know what I'm saying, know me and know the real person that, you know, genuine person that I am. I ain't got to shit and I ain't got to submit shit to nobody. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, so look, you, how was your week? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know it was a lot. I know it was a lot, but I told you yeah. we got on here. I, that really pitched my nerve. Like, I really yeah. had something to say about that. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't like that. I really dislike that. And hate is a strong word, but I really hate that. Mm. And that's what's been going on a lot here. I'm saying that I'm like this person got this so much to say, but you, I know for a fact you could do something to help this person because you're so self-centered and you were such an asshole. You wouldn't even try to help this person, but you got something to say about me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, if I, I, I'm not saying I'm a millionaire, but if I got something, I know I can help. Whether it's a ride, a cent, anything, I'm always trying to help a person. And if I don't have it, I really don't have it. I'm not gonna say I don't got it. I really don't have it. People yeah. have really lost their humanity out here. They just. 
oh, you know what I'm saying? They feeling good. They, they getting it. And, and now it's like the hell with the next person. Stay work for me. And that's how I feel about that. Mm. And also, too, like, <laughs> these women out here is out of pocket. A lot of women out here is out of pocket. I got a problem with women dealing with somebody fucking man or they fucking husband. Yeah. I'm cool on that. Then you skinning and grinning these in, in, in a person's face. Yeah, well, you know, listen, I know well, it teaches on. Yeah, teaches on. Just, just you stay, know, you, stay away from because if you do that to that person, you gonna do it to me, yeah. and I will beat the bar off. It's, it's the same thing with the niggas, though. It's, it's, it's the same it's, way, it's, it's, but that's a dudes, slimy, grimy person. It's, it's dudes that it's I no loyalty. see. Yeah, it's, people don't know I'm about loyalty. You, I'm gonna tell you, those dudes that I see doing, you know, slime ball shit like that. You know, how how would I be able to trust them around my personal? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, First they want to say, oh, you acting different. Oh, yeah. you, you this, you that. Yeah, I'm acting different because, nigga, I don't trust you. Yeah. <laughs> how can I trust somebody like that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And also the rule, too, is if you got a homie and you got a, you, you got your woman, I got my man. Mm-hmm. I bet not ever walk in my door and see my girlfriend in here with my man. You my friend. Fuck you in here with my man for. Mm. I'm going to beat the bar off. Damn. And then him, we we gonna have to do some so, counseling or something. So you gonna walk up to her and be like, "Buck or no?" It's, it ain't no. It's no. I mean, no. No, I'm gonna grab whatever is close and beat the shit out of her. Why are you in here with my man? Yeah. Why? Yeah, but you why? You my friend. Yeah, but why he ain't call you and say your lady? Yeah. No, I'm gonna beat the bar for her first of all because any you gonna, friend of mine. You gonna be him? You gonna be him too? I, listen, I, I'm gonna do more than that with him. Uh, is is it a done? Would you just get rid of him or you just gonna beat his ass? I, I can't dis- I can't disclose that. I plead the fifth because he's gonna catch him more. Because that's my yeah. man. He really know me. Yeah. My girlfriends, my girl, genuine girlfriends, they know me. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm gonna beat the bark off of them. You already know this friendship is over. Yeah. But him is the slow. I can't even disclose what I'm gonna do to him. Yeah. He gonna be in my A. Damn. Damn. Because why? Why? Why are you in here with my girl? Why? Yeah. For what? The fuck you got to talk about. I'm your friend. I'm your lover. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. You gotta yeah. be able to understand me. Yeah. It ain't easy. But yeah, my work week was cool. Yeah. My work week was cool. Um, I was on the chills. You know, uh, it was really hectic. It was cool. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's like repetitive information that I had. Like, just listen. Mm-hmm. And we always talk about this. Go get yourself checked out. Just don't go get yourself checked out when you're feeling cramps and you got a headache now or something because it's some it's stuff that has laid dormant to lead up to all those aches and pains and those all of a sudden those headaches. You was getting signs. You see what I'm saying? You was getting signs but you just chose to sit on it. Go get yourself checked out. Don't wait until your men, don't wait until your penis is, is blowing fire like a dragon and you go to the bathroom. Ladies, don't wait until you smell like a burnt house to go get, go get this stuff checked out. Because I know you can smell yourself. Yeah. Because a, a lady is the whole, she holds everything. With a man, she can lay dormant, mm. dormant with y'all for a while. Yeah. Y'all have said that. Yeah. I just get tired of seeing it. Yeah. I just so, get tired of seeing it. So so basically, you're talking about like, you know, what goes on at, your, at the job. As far as being in the medical field, it's just yeah, horrible. It, 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 it's out. crazy though because I deal with you know do the same it's thing. Like bugs. Yeah, you see, you like damn, you was just here two months ago for the same thing. Same thing. Yeah. You ain't learned your lesson. No, no. You know no, what I mean? It's, like, it's sad. like if if you dealing with some nasty dick dude or a nasty twat ass nigga, I mean chick or whatever, you got to move on or, or you you probably need to just fast because. Mm-hmm. You keep getting these STDs, mm. put yourself with protection. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You got you to gotta put that rubber on. And let me tell you, like, this medication that they're giving out here to people, that shit ages you. It breaks down other parts of your body. Mm-hmm. And it's killing you off quicker than you yeah. know it. Yeah. So it was like, you got to love yourself more than what y'all doing out here. That's yeah, all I'm definitely, saying. Definitely. You got to really love yourself more than what you out here doing. Pass that, uh, that wine. Oh, yeah, y'all. We, um, we drinking something different, y'all. Let me show y'all what we drinking. Got that fucking jug, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, got a jug. We got a jug of the Carl Lee yeah. sweet yeah. red. Yeah, I got yeah. you. Pass your glass over. Yeah. Oh, good looking. So other than that, you know, um, I pretty much have to say what you were saying about the invite. I really enjoy myself there. So yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, I forgot the name of the record label, or whatever. But shout out 
to Nikki and Ross. Yeah, I Ross. mean Royce. Royce, my bad. Royce, Royce. Nikki and Royce. They got a record label. Shout him out for introducing uh, the Jameson whiskey. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was that, that was, was smooth. yeah that was smooth. That was smooth. You know, yeah, smooth. you know, in the future I might have to cop me a bottle of that Jameson. Yeah. I heard that's the that's Irish whiskey or some shit yeah, like that. He kept that. saying he was Irish for the day. That's yeah, what he kept saying. Yeah, he's fucking hilarious, yeah, bro. He's, he's funny. Yeah, like, I mean, good vibes. Hilarious. Good vibes. And even with the the, uh, the artist. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was cool. He wasn't cocky. Not at all. He was down to earth. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He was approachable. Yeah, so those who are out there in the Philly area and you, you, you know this up and coming rapper named Mike Champagne, go look Listen, him up. He definitely you know, is. He, he got a new single. Called Head Buster. Head Buster. You know what I'm saying? Be on the lookout for that. It was dope. For the too. single and the uh, video, which, you know, me and Lady T, we got our cameo, our first cameo <laughs> and a music video. You know, podcasters and shit. We right. podcasters and we getting, we getting, re- you know what I'm saying? Invited to be in music videos and shit like that. But that's, that's really dope. I'm glad to see that people really out here fucking with us. Mm-hmm. So we really appreciate everybody out there, you know, that gave a listen to any episode, whether that you listen to the episode for fucking twenty seconds. I don't care. Yeah. You gave it a listen. Uh hopefully you'll come back, you know. Um, you know, we in season two and this ain't stopping no time soon. You know right. what I mean? And we actually really had some really good yeah. episodes too. Like we went from being comical to serious mm-hmm. to real serious to damn near in tears. It's like we probably had an episode where we really was like crying and we had to stop it and come back. You know, ain't no video footage out there of me crying. Not crying, yeah, but you, but... you know, your voice. <laughs> <laughs> right there, I just had to pause exactly. and give Miss that look. Like, yeah. all right, well, it's okay for a man to cry. It's a man. It's okay for a man to get emotional. But yeah. it is like one of those episodes where we kind of got like you know, it was like a touchy topic. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like today's yeah. um, topic. Or you know, issues that we are gonna talk about is a little touchy. Yeah, it's all. It always get a little touchy. Yeah, you know I mean, you, if you're not, if you don't show some type of emotion, you're not human. If you're not human, I, I don't know. I can't really. Yeah. I'll party with you because I'm a little yeah. intoxicated. But after a while, I gotta be like, hold up, yeah, you're yeah. fucking human. Yeah, yeah. You show type of emotion. Right. <laughs> Yo, let's take the time to shout out to the people on Lady T's live. What's that IG right there? IG. Um, we got Very. a couple, got a couple of people in there watching on IG mm-hmm. live right now. Mm-hmm. Um, that's really dope. This is something that we're gonna try to do every time we record. Right. We just go live on our accounts. So those who are out there, when when you get this, get to hear this episode, it'll be tomorrow. Make sure you follow us um, on Instagram, Twitter. At Hood Geniuses Pod, Lady T is the Lady T. So I think I can see some of them. I see my homie T Mac. I see Neve. I see Ty. I see Larry. Is that Larry? So you know I really can't tell got my glasses. So I want to say, what's up, y'all? Yeah, yeah. Thanks for tuning in and, and watching on uh, the IG Live. Yep. Yo, shout shout out to all those people. Yeah, we see y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, uh, but yeah. Oh, I just want to say, hey, Ty, if it was a little earlier, yo, we probably could have went to Charlie B's. Damn. <laughs> but they happy hour, five to eight, Ty. I ain't been there to get my muscles in a minute. <laughs> Damn, yeah, I ain't been there <laughs> in a minute. Me and Ty used to be cutting up in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out Charlie B's and yes. their muscles. You know yes. what I mean? I remember the last time we was in there, you were saying, I don't know, get these joints. It looked like a fucking octopus in this joint, yo. Mm. You like you pulled a little mini octopus out the muscles. But that's part of the yeah. sea, so you yeah. probably crawled up in there or whatever like that. Yeah, you know what I mean? But I'm back, I'm back. Yeah. It just turned my stomach for a minute, but I'm back though. Like, their food is still awesome. Yeah. So, ep- the new season of Power is back. Yes. It was dropped today, July 1st. Um, Lady T didn't see it. I Not seen yet. it. So, you know, I was planning on talking about how I felt about everything that was going on in a new episode. Yeah. Um, but we can't talk about that because I don't, you know. And I know you want to wait for others that hasn't seen it because I... Well, it wouldn't matter because, you know, this episode will be dropping on Monday. Right, right, right. But we'll be on live, though, so the one that is tuning in. Man, listen. Look, look, look. Anybody on Instagram or uh, social media, they seen that shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They, they seen it. You know, because it be I'm on demand. You know, it be yeah. on demand just True. waiting. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm going to wait to nine. I'm going to wait to nine. Yeah. And uh, all I'm going to say is, yo, it's, it's it's a lot of ups and downs of a lot of emotions going mm. on with this. The, I mean, straight from, from the beginning, yo. Like, yeah. 
I mean, he, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, okay, it's, it's like that. It's, okay. getting, it's, it's, it's getting really, really, it was really emotional. So you can say it's kind of like t- um, tied in with what's going on right now out here in the real world? Um, With all these kinda, deaths and murders? You know what I'm saying? Kind of, a little bit. But, it, you know, if you, you know, you Cause follow the Because how old was the story. sister? How old was the sister? She was, what, 15? Yeah, well, you know, it's his twin sister. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, 15 and, years uh, old. And was that yeah. young man that got killed? In New York, 15. Crazy. And, and then it hits another situation where a little girl got hit and run, four years old. Yeah, Four I years seen old, that. hit and run. Yeah, yo. How can you, how can you just hit a baby and just keep on going? You, and, and, heartless, and, and you mean, you heartless. Motherfuckers out here heartless, you know what I mean? Very, very heartless. It's just crazy. Yeah. But um, since, you know, Lady T didn't actually uh, see power yet. Um, we're going to get into one of the first topics we're going to talk about it. And, uh, and that is, you know, was Dane wrong for pulling up on Lee Daniels at, at, at the fucking Diana Ross concert? Absolutely not. For his for his bread? I salute. I salute him. You want to know yeah. why I salute him? Because, listen, people get, like I just was saying, people get to a certain stature, right? And they forget where they came from. Mm-hmm. They forget the people that was there. In their corner, backing them up, supporting. Yep, yep. Now you here. Now it's like, ah, you can kick rocks now. I done made it to where I want to be. So to me, you really, you fake. Yeah. You fake and you phony, you corny. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But and just, just break me my bread off and you can keep it moving. Yeah, and it's crazy. Like, I, you know, I always say, you got to act like a gorilla to get what you want. A and it's gorilla, a damn yeah, shame. Yeah, it's a shame. You, you literally got to be motherfucking ripping people heads and backs off just to get mm-hmm. what you want. Mm-hmm. You got to come out of your character or whether that is your character or whatever. Right. But that, you got to literally... character, though. He had yeah. to come out of character. Yeah, you know, yeah, Dan Dan, Dan, you're right. You up the chain, but you know, for like the past three years, he's been talking about that. Right. You know what I mean? Like right. this man owe him two mil. You know that's that's, that's not, not that's not two hundred dollars. Yeah, that ain't like okay, yo, two thousand. Yeah, take two this, million. And, and then you see Lee Daniels was like, yeah, well, nobody wanted to give me the money and the investment, and mm-hmm. he did it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, like Dame said, you know, they be saying this man crazy. But they ain't like make a lot of sense to me. He but said Oprah didn't want to give him the money. Mm-hmm. He's, he was naming all those big names. But now, they didn't want they didn't want to give him the money. Only person that gave him the money was Dame Dash. But wait a minute, now but Oprah Winfrey, she was in the butler, right? Am I correct? Yeah. Okay. But she ain't want to give her no bread mm-hmm. for, for you to get your initial start. But she was in the movie. movie. She was in the movie. Mm-hmm. Really but that. but but by that time though. He she, had already. She, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And she she funded that movie. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But we talking about this and, Lee and Daniels. Early, early in the beginning. Yeah. And I'm glad you brought that up because what? Maybe what his Instagram followers wasn't up to where they, you know, or what his Facebook followers. No, because but you I know mean, what it is? What? Because Dame, he got the stigma, you know, he got that thing where like, oh, you don't want to work with him. He's an asshole. You know what I'm saying? He... He, you know, I mean, come no, I'm on. talking about Lee Daniels. Yeah, but I'm saying. So why not? Why didn't nobody, you know, want to? Oh, you saying why didn't why? Oprah? And why all didn't she want to like fund him, like help him out? Why is because when he, he wasn't, wasn't on like the status yet. there, you go, oh. and that's my problem with people today. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. Like I'm just, I'm just going to bring this up. Status, you're not they beating their status, whether you're thorough, you bring in something really positive or whatever like that. Do people know? And matter of fact, I think it was ball alert that people really pay for their followers and their stats to be up there like that. They're not really grinding from the dirt. Yeah, because you gotta think about it, right? You gotta look at some of these people on Instagram, right? Because I'm like, and you like they got twenty seven thousand followers, but who are they? They ain't promoting nothing. They ain't selling nothing. Nothing. But how you ain't really doing? You not really doing shit for the community, but talking. You not getting bricks. And building shit for the youth, for real, for real. You just talking, but you high status. Come on, stop blowing smoke. Stop, stop blowing the smoke. Seriously, yeah. Because when the shit clear up, where's the real, where's the real handwork at? Yeah. It's kids still out here don't have shit to go to, real, real stuff to do. They still closing their stuff behind our backs. But supposedly the cigarette taxes was supposed to pay for this. That was the stuff. Uh, the, the soda taxes was supposed to pay for this, but y'all still closing their schools and ain't opening up shit for prisons. No, yeah. You know what that's about. So come on, man. You know what I'm saying? 
Bitch, me with it. Bitch, I mean, I mean, you know, we got, we in the medical field. You know what I'm saying? Half the hood is fucking a diabetic. So here y'all want to say, oh, we going to raise. Not only adults, but yeah, kids too. Yeah, kids too. So here y'all want to say, y'all want to, you know, create these fucking taxes to to get schools and, you know, help the, uh, the, the community out. Mm-hmm. It's bullshit. Yeah. Because you actually hurting. Yeah. Most of the people in the hood drinking sodas. Yeah. They ain't they drinking still water. Buying, and they still buying cigarettes. Yeah, so man. Is 11, 12 dollars. Yeah. They don't care. They still buying they, cigarettes. They, they drinking hood. They, they, they drinking hugs. And lemon pies, mm-hmm. eating lemon pies for fucking breakfast. You know what I'm saying? Same. Motherfuckers is diabetic. Yo, so many people is diabetic in the hood. You know what's crazy? It don't take much to go to a produce junction place and spend 20 bucks on some fruit. That and could vegetables. be your junk food and vegetables. Yeah. Like, come on. Like, it's no reason why a 10 year old look like a, a 15 year old and a 15 year old look like a 30 year old. There's no reason. Like, you gotta care about yourself more. You just do. Yeah. So next. Yeah. Um, first of all, um, I'm glad Dane did that because he going to get his money. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Um, Who knows? He may need it. You know and so what if he may need it? Everybody yeah. has their moments in life where, you know what I'm saying, they fall down, but they come back up. It's, this is life. Life is like a roller coaster. You have your ups and downs. Nobody is perfect. Nobody is going to remain here. You, that's life. It's up and down. It's like a graph. You hear, you there, you up, you down. That's yeah. what life is. It's like it's not perfect. You know what I'm saying? But the only thing you gotta remember is just don't give a fuck what. But first of all, if somebody bring you some information or want to criticize you, really step back and look at that person that's talking to you. Really observe that person. Observe their energy. Say, you hold up. Why is this person telling me this or talking to me like this? I'm in a good mood, but you want to come with your negative bullshit. They're not happy with themselves. Keep it over there because you won't bring me down. You know what I'm saying? I'm already trying to keep myself elevated, keep myself up. You know what I'm saying? You know, not knowing. I just received a shut off notice or, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to figure out how to put on my bills. Should I go food shopping or should I just make sure this person eat? I don't eat this day. You don't know what a person going through. For somebody to come with some negative shit, my whole thing is my guard is up. Miss me with the bullshit. If it ain't, if it's nothing to build me, you know, keep me in a positive mode or uh, move me forward, I ain't trying to hear it. I'm not trying to hear it. And you can say, oh, I'm changing this and that. Blah, blah, blah. I, listen, I don't give a fuck what you think. Yeah. So on to the next. Um, we want to get into this. I don't know if many people heard about this, um, this shit that's going on in this little small town. In mm. Pittsburgh, in the suburb. Yeah, I gotta put my shade on. Yeah. The mayor, um, her name is Karen Pacconi. Um, basically, she told the police officers to go old school mm. on the protesters that, because they was protesting because it was mm-hmm. a police officer involved with shooting. shot the young guy. Yeah, shooting mm-hmm. a 17-year-old. Mm-hmm. So she went on like her Facebook or her IG. I actually got to read this shit, yo. She went on her... Yeah, I think it was her Facebook or something. And she said, yo, uh, she posted an old picture from 1963 with some... It was, you know, back in 1963, some protesters getting hosed down by cops. She posted that and she said, listen, I don't care about... What she was saying, pretty much she don't care about them. But she also said she don't care because they don't have jobs. You know, they don't work. This is why they can get up at 7 a.m., and they, she's referring to black people. It is they. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And uh, she said, I'm posting this so that the authorities everywhere sees this. So basically, she she's trying to bring back old school tactics of when the police in the 1960s was hosing our people down with water and, and had the dogs out, biting them and shit like that. And this is, this is, this is what I'm saying, yo. These is people that... Are elected officials. Mm-hmm. They don't give a fuck, yo. I keep telling people, yo, politics is is bullshit. Politicians is bullshit, yo. Yo, just get your shit together, yo. Like you gotta come together as a community and do your shit. Like worry about your own shit. These politicians ain't gonna save you. You know what I mean? This political shit is bullshit, yo. They keep showing that they don't give a fuck about us all the mm-hmm. time. And if it is some that care, it's like maybe five percent. <laughs> the other percent, listen, you on your own. And um, I actually want to talk about because um, I know you just want to elaborate on that chick right there real quick. Or yeah, yeah. You still want to talk, talk about talk a little bit more about it. Okay, you know what I mean. 
Um, I, all I all I got to, all I all I'm left to say is this is some bullshit, and we continue to put faith in these politicians when they just don't give a fuck about us. And like I will continue to say, I lived in the hood for 41 years. Ain't shit changed. Things just got worse. Hmm. Ain't no just a fucking, different kind of worse. Yeah, ain't no ain't, kind of ain't no vote change nothing about the hood. No vote. So why the fuck I'm rushing out to vote for it? Like, you know what I'm saying? This, this shit ain't make no change. You know what I mean? That, that's just my opinion. You know what I mean? To each his own. I'm done. All right. So I came across an article where this young man, his name is Jordan Harris. He's a 34-year-old uh, state rep from Pennsylvania. He just was able to get a law passed that will automatically seal the records of Pennsylvanians at 10 years with no criminal activity. Oh, that's dope. So, that's why I said he's like part of that 5%. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you got to do your homework. Um, I understand what you said as far as the voting part. Like, yeah. that, that town right there, I, I, I just got to keep them in prayer. Because that's, that's crazy. That's insane. Yeah. But for this gentleman right here that wasn't put on the news, the everyday news, besides this person got killed, that person got killed, this is something positive. Mm-hmm. That's not going to make it on the news. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's for us to be that platform for geniuses to let people know there there is hope out here. Don't give up. There yeah, is definitely. some humanity out there left. And this young man, you know, state rep from you know Pennsylvania, yeah. and, our and, own hometown. Yeah, and that's that's this is why the platform was created, right? Because you know it's it's just certain news that. That's not going that to make the hood it. not going to get. They're not going to get it because you know they want to I mean? keep us conditioned. They want to yep. keep us down. They want us to think right. that you know we're just born killers and that we just you know just hate each like it other. Ain't, like it ain't no feel good stories in it's the hood. Nothing. It's just nothing. No, nope. just animals. Everybody savages in the hood. That's not, not true. true. It's not true at all. There's really people out here that's really trying to make a difference, and it's up to us to put that information out here so we can support those that are trying to make a difference. And this gentleman right here, because I'm included in this. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm included in this. I just, you know, thank God that I was able to, you know, change my life around and, and do good. But for those that think it all, you know, hope is lost, mm-hmm. it's just man I hear they got this law passed. So do your homework, do your research, do your Googling. Like, just don't sit up here and think you just effing. What's that saying? The white man is holding me down. No, that's <laughs> not true. You got to get out of that mindset. You're holding your own self down because you're not doing your homework. You're not getting out here and finding out things. The Google machine is vicious. The Google machine should be your best friend. It should be everybody's best friend. Everybody's best friend should be the Google machine because you can find out so much stuff. You know, and the Google machine don't lie. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? So, that's all I have to say about as far as political. Yeah, yo. I mean, we're going to get into something else. Um, Mm -hmm. I got to wonder... Yeah, I came across this um, this model. Uh, she put Fab out there. She screenshotted his message and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, what I mean is Fab. I'm talking about the rapper Fabulous. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I tell I tell the fellas all the time, man. You, you got to be careful out there. You know, uh, media. you know, if you got a lady or whatever, and you you got social media, and you out there creeping, you know, social media and screenshots. Screenshots is like the worst thing created for a cheater. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's for men and women. Right. You know, the invention of the screenshot is an amazing thing. You it's know to incriminate I mean? you. Yeah. It's, yo, motherfuckers is... You know, women already be motherfucking full-time fucking investigators and right, shit. Right, right, right. They be like FBI profilers and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? They be like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. My man don't eat peanut butter on Sunday. <laughs> He just posted up that he was in the store buying peanut butter. That nigga ain't tell me he was buying peanut butter. And it's Sunday. And he allergic to peanut butter, too. Yeah. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, females is vicious, yo. You know, men is... We men is the ones that's just dumbfounded. Like, just be doing dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And and what I mean by that is, like, men men don't be thinking... Mm -hmm. You know, they, you know. They, Y'all be feeling good. Like, I'm juggling. I'm juggling. Y'all yeah. be feeling good. No. They, no. they don't, they don't put a strategy together. No. And be like, okay. Because y'all not natural with it. Yeah. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Women doing shit like, you know, 
Yeah. Every, on, every move is calculated. We stay on the same path. We, st- we, we, we keep the same yeah. system. Y'all, every every move is calculated. Change up y'all y'all cologne. Y'all y'all washing a little more. Not real. Training a little more. Yeah. Not realizing that this woman that you with knows you. Knows yeah, your like mannerisms. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Knows your energy. Your whole energy didn't change now because you got that new pussy on the side. Yep. Yeah. And mm-hmm. she could tell. She could smell the new pussy on you. Mm-hmm. You, you, shit. You, you probably didn't even fuck her. You probably was just eating her pussy, and she smelled the pussy oh, on your tongue. This is shit I'm talking yeah. about. But I'm just telling you, yeah, like it's real talk. Like, yeah, you right. She, you know how you can smell the similac on a nigga on, on a baby's mouth or some shit like that. On Hold the up, tongue, now you can let smell me tell the pussy. You come home and mouth. you can smell someone's vagina on you still. Hey, listen. I'm a lead ass. Hey. Number one, because you're dealing with something from the sea. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't be smelling nobody else's vagina on you. Okay, you dealing with some type of mermaid or something. Hey, and that dumb nigga, you know what he'll say? Hey, babe, I was eating mussels and crabs with the homies. And you allergic to him? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Me and my homies went to a crab fest. Yeah, we went to a seafood fest. Yeah, or some shit. But last dumb year, shit, last year when you had shrimp, he was in ER. But now y'all don't want to the crab feet. Yeah, right? Dumb yeah. shit. Now, that... if you want your balls broke off with your hand, put you on, put on the table. <laughs> I'm going to give you an option. Yeah. Yeah. Or we just want to leave our happy. Yeah, yo. Put your happy ass out of here. It's crazy. But yeah, let me get into this article and shit, yo. It says, uh, Fabulous, he slides into the uh, model's DM mm-hmm. and... She basically like, yo, you just re, you know, reunited with Emily. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the model chick like, yo, what the fuck you think this is? Like, I'm, you know what I'm saying? And it's crazy. Like, it's good that you had a woman do something like this. Like, cause, you know, Fab looking at it like, I want Fab. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm in your inbox. What do you think he Fabulous or somebody? Hey, you, cleaner. Hey, you, you know how them niggas get. You know yeah, what I mean? It's a shame because he just went through all that publicity with you know beating her ass and knocking tooth out, knocking shit teeth like out. That. But I'm still, I yeah. still haven't seen the pics of her toothless. Yeah. You gotta show me somebody toothless for me to really you know understand. Like, and then that's if that's the case, you back mm-hmm. with him. What if he knock your damn eye out? Then you gotta wear a patch like Slick Rick and shit. Damn. Seriously, yeah. I'm yeah. good. I, that's why yeah. I remember I said. It's always three sides of a story. Yeah. It's side her side and truth. And this shit is four sides because the truth get watered down too. Somebody be like, oh, I'm going to pay you a couple dollars to mm-hmm. kind of, you know. So it's like, you just don't know what to believe anymore. Yeah. I agree with you. And then you feel as though you comfortable now. You you done got, you know, you cool now. That's what I'm talking about, man. Mm-hmm. You want to slide with somebody then? You just got clear? Yeah. Nigga slide right in the DM, slide right into some chlamydia. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or oh, waffle, blue waffle. Oh man. Yeah, listen. Blue waffle. I'm gonna tell y'all but right now. Those listen, are, those out there. More and more people court blue um blue waffle. Listen, you won't want to go well the international house of pancakes on this no more. But you even want no waffles for the rest of your life no more. You, God you, damn. Yeah, seriously. That blue waffle shit. Yeah, that shit is off the hook, yo. I, I hate to say this, but seriously, yeah. if motherfuckers court, see people will be catching STDs and going to the doctors and getting these pills and getting these shots and getting it cleared up. You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, do you want a month supply of this, you know, rosefin or you know these pills to clear up the STDs because you know you're going to be dirty and nasty and not strap up or you know, it, like seriously, what's good? Yeah, yo, um, what's going on, motherfuckers? You know, they don't care. They just be into For the moment. For a couple of minutes of pleasure? Yeah. You don't know what you might end up with? But, I mean, you got to think about it. You, you got to look at, you know, you said a couple of moments of pleasure. You know, look look what, look what cocaine does. Look what, you know, uh, yeah. heroin do. You know, yeah. the, the, the opiate. Your first time you getting know? high for cocaine, I heard that. It is awesome for a couple of minutes. Yeah. And then that's what the, the addiction is. You're chasing that one first time high. Yeah. And that's... That's what like that's busting a nut is. is. Yeah, that's like busting a nut. You bust a nut, it's that addiction. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's that high. You know what I mean? That high for the you know first minute, first seconds or whatever. And, and then it's like, damn. And then you mellow the fuck out and shit. Oh, I gotta do this again. Do men you know, know like? Do y'all know when y'all yo? So when y'all do that, y'all lose like so much of sperm. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. like y'all near like y'all just like y'all predicting y'all death. What? What are you talking about? You predicting your death? Now I don't know what you talking about. I'm only about playing. That. I'm only yeah, playing. Yeah, I'll get you. I'm only yeah, playing. I'm only playing. I was like, what? <laughs> what the fuck? 
Like, yeah, keep on that's, just, that's just some shit I tell yeah. my Keep on sleeping with all them women out there. You're yeah. close to death. Yeah, close to death. Yeah, every time you busting up with somebody else and not me, because I'm your spiritual woman, you're dying. Yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 I see, see y'all, see y'all. That's what, that's what. See, that was, <laughs> that was calculated. You know, that's what women do. That's what y'all can of do. Course. And you have a, 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 a nigga mind fucked up with that. Yeah, he'll go believe that shit. But if I gotta tell you that, I don't need to be with you. Yeah. If I pick up any type of difference in your. Your uh, your system, how you do things, how you go about things, and you all you schedule and you acting different, talking crazy. Mm-hmm. Y'all be talking to y'all sleep like crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, that's what I'm saying. Like for real, that's how you feel. But I I maintain. <laughs> but I'm not gonna stay with you, and I'm not a rider. I'm not a rider for that. Yeah. You cheat on me, and I'm being faithful to you. Yeah. What makes you think I don't get bored with you? Yeah. You're not that seven seven personality person. Man. See, for a woman, we like for a man that can go shopping. You know what I'm saying? We like a man that has great conversation. We like a man that good around the house to fix it, Mister Fix It, mm-hmm. fix a car, build a car, shit, build whatever. You know what I'm saying? We like a man that's sociable, that's, that has a so, good personality. So, so you 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 base. I, I remember you said this before. You yeah. said a woman pretty much need the the. Like five different men, the five personalities different men. of five, five different, different men. men. And here's you know the thing. Mean? But what is, is what, what, what about the dudes? Like, yo, what the fuck? Maybe we need let me tell five you, five different men are vaginas. So simple. We men need are so five simple. different vaginas. Why would you need five different vaginas? <laughs> vaginas. If you get with one woman, yeah. First of all, vaginas, vaginas can be the same. If she's not out there um, giving love, she, if she don't have a, a, a what's that community vagina. Yeah. Okay. okay. I understand. You know what I mean by that. Yeah. So if you get a woman with a normal vagina, all vaginas are pretty much the same. It's about how your feelings, your emotions, your movement. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? But honestly, you can fuck a man's mind before you even lay down on your back and do that. Because once you fuck a mind, a man's mind, you got it. Same with a man. Once you fuck a woman's mind, I mean, as far as when I'm saying fuck, I mean like great conversation. I mean, you have you. A woman can sit there and even slept with you, or a, woman, a man can sit with you and have and, and even slept mm-hmm. with you and is in love with you mm-hmm. because of who you are. Yeah. Once you get that spiritual connection, the vagina is a vagina. That it's that's it. Now, if you out there just being greedy and sloppy with it, that's just crazy. Yeah, I agree with you on you that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So my thing is this: like, and as far as like uh, size matter and all that mm-hmm. other stuff like that, yeah, it can be. But shit, if if you got my mind. Then it's a rat. It's a rat. Because yeah, I'm going to make that sex great to me. Yeah, because that's Because what... I love you because you actually stimulated my mind. You teach me things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it's always been with me. Like, you could be fine. You could be the most handsome person in the fucking world. But if you can't stimulate my mind and keep... Because I'm like... I don't know. Like, I just... I'm very outgoing. It's my mm-hmm. team. It's like, I'm, this is me. That's my personality. And if mm-hmm. you can't tame that, you're not going to get me. I don't care if you got a, a penis from here to my backyard. <laughs> yeah. You can have me calling. Ah, 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 yeah. ah, yeah, that don't but, mean nothing because you know what at mean? the end of the day, got personality. you don't got no personality. Yeah. You don't, you, you or, don't the, ha- or the energy. Is or like, the energy. Oh, yeah. So it don't mean nothing to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm like, I kind of be precautious with that. Like, all right, you know. Yeah. Damn, like, yeah. it's all about just laying down and getting off your yeah. rocks. Teach his own. I don't knock. Teach his own. That's what you do. That's what you do. But I feel as though I can't release so much energy like that if it's not meant. Like, if it's not good to me. Yeah. Because then I'm going to be feeling bad. Like, damn, I just was sitting here sweating my ass off. Hair looking like Shaka Khan. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or Lion King. Or whatever. Whatever situation. When you sweating all on me. We exchanged the energy. But at the end of the day, it was worthless. Mm-hmm. Why? Because, like, damn, I was in heat. I felt, oh, my God, my hormones is going crazy. I just got to, whoo. And it's like, damn, I feel bad because it's somebody I really didn't even want to fucking do it with. Yeah. And for what? Yeah. A couple of minutes of pleasure? Yeah, it's, you know, I think um, the more mentally mature, you you know, an individual gets, Mm -hmm. that's, that's, means more and then the connection too, and then connection. too like you said working in the medical field i'm yeah. laying there like hold up yep that fucks that fucks with you wait a minute 
Now, real talk. I don't even know honestly because my fucking name is honest no more. Mm-hmm. I don't knock nobody for what you want to be with, who you want to be with, but just be honest. I have plenty of friends that have alternative lives. I don't give a shit what you do. It's on you. Mm-hmm. This don't lie to me. You're going to be the woman, be the woman. You're going to be the man, be the man. If you're going to be with a, a whatever, just be. Don't lie. Because you put other people at risk. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's not cool. So I'm laying there. If I got to be laying there like, damn, like, I got to immediately go get tested. So I'm not enjoying myself. Yeah. With, with a rubber. With a, a condom. Yeah. Because it's like, your your hair is touching my eyes. You, you know, like, you know, depending on the female, how much she let go or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's like, you still worry. He going down, you going down on him, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to go get your, your throat checked for gonorrhea and, and oh, all yeah, that kind yeah, of stuff yeah. like that, but pe- people don't know. Yeah, you for, keep getting for, sore throats and you got gonorrhea or yeah. a chlamydia of the throat. Yeah, people, yeah. They that's don't a, know that's, about that's that. You keep thing. getting sore throats and you don't know what it is. Go yeah. get your damn throat checked out. Go get a culture or something. Yeah, yeah, ladies. Who wants you, to go through that? Ladies, if you want to, you know, you, you want to stick to that name of being super throat or super head or whatever you want to be called and be known for, if you want to be that chick that like to give head and sucking dick like that, make sure you get that throat checked out because you could have chlamydia and trichomonas all in your throat yeah. and you won't even know it you just be thinking oh i got a cold i got a yeah. sore throat yeah no you got that shit in your throat <laughs> and you got to get that shit checked the fuck out mm-hmm. you know yeah. what i'm saying it's and crazy. and or herpes. yeah you know what i'm saying yeah or herpes mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know you get herpes in your throat yes yeah, you know what i mean crazy. same thing yeah, the same thing you get at the bottom you get up top it's crazy yeah they you know gotta be I mean? careful out there. Like it's just a shame that people have really lost and forgot about the sexual education. Mm-hmm. It's real life. You gotta educate yourself. I know they took a lot out of school, so therefore you have to educate yourself. Self education starts within you. Starts, mm-hmm. you know, what I'm saying at home, even with your children. You keep sending your kids out here in the, in the schools and saying the teacher ain't doing. The teacher only gonna do so much. Teacher is to hold it down until you get back home. Starts from home. Exactly. So the education starts from home. And they, the, the, the kids learn everything starting with you with mothers. It starts within you. And then when you have them, you gotta keep it going. Then you send them off while you're in the working field or whatever the case may be. To hold it down until they come back home and you still gotta keep teaching them. Because God knows you don't know actually what the hell they teaching them in these schools. So as long as the, it's, it's it, within home, when they start from home, you're good. Yeah. It's crazy, man. Yeah. I, um, I came across another interesting article, uh, and this is something that, you know, definitely uh, Lady T always uh, have talked about, whether it was on a podcast or just in person. Um, but I'm going to read this. It says, um, and this is U.S. News, white deaths have exceeded white births. And the majority of the United States. It says the census data briefed by the applaud, I mean, the applied population lab shows that deaths out, outnumbered births for white people in 26 states in 2016. So basically, uh, for those, if you don't understand what I'm saying, I ain't illiterate, but uh, basically, uh, white people are becoming extinct. Um, they're not having babies. They don't have babies like colored folks and and um, pe- people of color. Period. You, know you gotta. I mean? You gotta. You want me to elaborate on what you really trying to say? Yeah. You don't remember? I, I got that shit master down. Yeah. You, you. This is definitely your area. Right. You know. You brought this to my attention. Right. Uh, so, uh, a, a long time ago. The past couple of episodes, we actually discussed about the extension of the all white um, population how they want to have it, which is a shame to me because we're all people of color. Mm-hmm. Every life has to began with a person of color. Like, you can't make nobody of color without color. So that's why I don't stand about... Well, I, I mean, I do understand, but I just I just don't get why it's still racism when they know the truth. Like, you can't keep races going on without color. So to say um, 
all white America and all white this, it cannot be, it cannot exist. It never was an existence of that. So with this right here, the census that's, you know, that's not put on the news for us to see. Why? Because they try to hide the truth and just put out there that we're animals and we're killers and we're just killing each other. No apparent reason. But they put it, they put it there. Um, I stated that a Caucasian woman back in slavery time, they couldn't bear a child. So they would have a slave black woman have their children. And they would raise their children as their own because they, their womb was not strong enough to carry life. Mm -hmm. They would get pregnant and not be able to carry that life form. You know, they would have miscarriages and miscarriages and stuff like that. And it started, actually started from the carcass, um, the carcasses mountains, where they would actually have miscarriage and actually eat their, their babies. It's in the book, it's in the history, yeah. which they're not going to tell us that. You have to do the research on your own. And I learned this at 12 years old at Temple when they had the free classes mm -hmm. under Greg, uh, Gregory, Dick Gregory, mm -hmm. the late uh, Dick Gregory, the late... Uh, Oh my God! What is her name? Francis Crest Wesley. Mm -hmm. I've actually met those great people. Mm -hmm. You know, I've sat in their studies with my mother, and was under those studies, and it's real. Yeah. You know, they had philosophers going off around the world doing research and studies, and coming back right at Temple for free. And it was called the uh, the passes. Pass that. Pass that. Yeah. Pass that classes, and they were free. Free education on your history. Your own history of self history, knowing yourself, understanding why you're hating on. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's a purpose, it's a reason why. So, what um, Ms. 100 was talking about is something that was already predicted and it's coming back around again. And it was already in those days, and now it's coming back to um, today's time. That's why it's a mark on the black man's head and the black woman's head. And that's why they're trying to knock us off and kill us off. You know, but that's not going to happen because we are the Omega, we are the beginning. So you got to understand why you're ex, why you're hated so much. And then once you understand that, then mm -hmm. you will, you know, you will be a better person. You will understand your purpose on this earth. And it's just not to, born, to be born and just be mediocre, just ordinary, and just normal. You know, you have a purpose. Everybody, you know what I'm saying, have a purpose on this earth. You just got to find that reason. You know? Yeah, you just not born to die. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. It's basically uh, the car, car, Caucasians. Uh, a lot, you know, they just not having babies like that, and their time is being up. That's why they, you know, that's why they a lot of them is, is doing interracial dating and mm -hmm. stuff like that. You know what I mean? I mean, basically, what it comes down to is we like to fucking have babies. You know, they, <laughs> they. You know, they plan their shit. You know, we, whereas though we will have a baby and then plan. You know, they plan then have a baby. And but what they I, have to. Yeah, what I mean because by... Because it's critical. Because yeah. a lot of them have to be on bed rest because their womb is not strong enough. Because yeah. you want to sit up here and be so racist and hate a person of color and just seclude yourself when we're all honestly as one. I'll cut you. You be the same color. You cut me. We all be the same color. And I just really wish that racism could stop but it's not going to stop because people are so ignorant and they're really trying to like have their own community like will it be like the Jetsons and like will live in space away from us when if you do that you won't exist yeah you won't exist without it so just cut it out just stop being ignorant you know yeah. what I'm saying like I always say I, it's no hatred or, or, or ignorance and racism in my mind or my heart at all because I have a family of all different Races, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Different colors. I'm, I, how about how about this? Different colors. What the fuck? Races. Different yeah. colors. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like my cousin got a, a Caucasian. Like it's just all over the place. Asian, Japanese. Uh, oh yeah. Japanese, it's just all over. So it's like. Oh yeah. Well, you I know, love I love people. Yeah. But I'm gonna treat you how you treat me though. It's America's a melting pot now. You know what I'm saying? Like you know. Everything is evolving. Mm -hmm. You know, I've never seen so many Asian women with fat butts. Well, you know, uh, Asian women got fat butts now. And I'm talking about not the women that's on IG, not the IG whores with the, you know, implants. I'm talking about regular, you know, regular Asian women out here. They got fat butts, you know, and, 
Yeah, I'm just well, saying though. No, I understand. Like what you're saying. Like everything is evolving. No, you know, I, they no. out here eating McDonald's. No, it's you know? not that. It's There's not a that. lot of shit going on though. What I'm saying, what, what you're saying with that is that a lot of them full as though they had to get these injections. Mm-hmm. And some people are able to get the expensive injections, and some people go to the backdoor places mm-hmm. because they want to be cheap. Or, you know, they want to be saving a dollar, which can actually cause them their life. Mm -hmm. So now, butts matter. But if you remember at one point, butts was disgusting. Yeah. Your butt is too big. You're fat. You're disgusting. This and that. Now everybody want a fat ass. Yeah. It's like, it's like NASA fade. Yeah. You know, what was that song back in the day? What was that song back in the day? Where uh, it was like, uh, baby got back. Baby got back. <laughs> oh yeah, you yeah. talking about uh by uh Sir Mix a lot. Sir Mix a lot. You know, you know what I'm saying? saying? Sir Mix a lot. Yeah. So now, at yeah. one point, oh my God, like, look at her butt. Her butt is so big. Up. Yeah. Now, it, now, now, now everybody want a big ass. Now everybody you know want what? Full it wasn't. It wasn't until Jennifer Lopez came on the scene. And she started well, fucking with. She was with, getting criticism. Hold up, she started fucking with Ben Affleck, right? Mm-hmm. And then it was like you start seeing a change. Mm-hmm. Now it's like, oh, that's what we got to do. We got to get a big ass. And the funny thing about that is, the women in the hood been half fat asses. You go up Fifth Street, all the Spanish chicks. You go to Ar- Aramango Ave and all that shit. Like all the, they all got fat asses. You know what I'm saying? That's the norm in the hood. You know, but when Jennifer Lopez was out there mm. fucking with P. Diddy and, and then Ben Affleck, they like, damn, her ass too big. Oh, shit. You know, but they started to like, damn, well, maybe we got to get an ass. You know what I'm saying? We got to get an ass to feel accepted by by celebrity men and shit. Right. You know what I mean? Mm. I'm telling you, like, when you, that was like probably like 2000. So around that time, 99, mm-hmm. 2000, 99, 2001. Right. Jennifer Lopez, big ass was on videos and all that shit like that. It's like, man, we need an ass to win now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like so that's what you think that's what did it? Yeah, like that was that was like kinda that was kinda like the turning point and shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yo, I, I, mean, I, who I that? like how you just turn yours, but I had vibes on both of us. Yeah, yeah. No, no. That's just the way the John came and shit. Like it was Oh no, no, no. Yeah. No, I'm trying to clean it up, man. Oh uh, man. Yeah, yeah we do. no, but shout out to uh, I see you, Ben Gotti. You know oh, what I'm ben saying? Gotti. Uh, man, shout out to yeah, to, to those out there. We talking about the Instagram live. Oh, you know what I'm saying? That's Shalia, yo. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Shalia, yo. What's up? Thanks for always uh, supporting us and listening. Yes. Um, we're gonna continue to do this uh, this live. We're gonna be showing out because you can see, you know? even though you got on shades and I really can't see, and I always be like, listen. Oh man, we showing out. That's oh cool. man, that's, so, that's cool. Yeah, but I, I had seen that your phone was uh, dying and shit. Yeah, you you know what man? Nah, I'm just saying. So I had to do the thing. So what you saying? I should add on 100 before I even, we got on the show. Yeah, I don't know. You, you, gotta, you, you know what? Pass that, pass that jug again, <laughs> yo. <laughs> Yeah, we got a jug, y'all. Uh, to the to the people that's tuned in right now, we got a jug, jug of sweet red right now. Um, yo, who, who is that? Oh, that's Ben Gotti. Okay, I see you. Uh, you said on I'm, I'm Stunting B. Yo, you know, you know how we do. Yeah, shout out Ben Gotti. He be in Philly. Um, July third was uh, yeah. You be in Tuesday, yo. I see you at the airport, bro. We. We probably gonna hit up Chickies and Pete, some shit, you know what I mean? Hit up a happy hour, you know how we do. Um, but what we about to do right now, we about to get into uh, Miz 100's top picks, music picks. Uh, the album of the week for me is J Rock's Redemption. Um, one of the dopest albums. It's, it's fucked up that Redemption came out like the same week as uh, Nasir album. So you know, it was all it was in the middle of when all those Kanye albums was dropping, the good music albums, and um, J Rock, which is he's uh, TDE's uh, one of the dopest artists that's down with Kendrick Lamar and all them. So shout them out, SZA, Kendrick Lamar, J Rock, Schoolboy Q, um, and damn, damn, I forgot the other boy Solo and shit, the boy Solo, but um. 
Yeah, uh, the album is dope. Uh, if you didn't listen to it yet, it's actually being talked as being one of the best hip hop albums of 2018. Um, it's really slept on. Uh, he, he, the whole joint is a banger. You can listen to it all the way through. Uh, a couple of my favorites is on there is the joint Win. Um, the King is Dead, which is from the uh, Black Panther soundtrack that was featuring Future and Kendrick Lamar. Um, the first track is, is dope called The Bloodiest. Um, I fuck with the trap tap out with featuring Jeremiah and I fuck with the um the title track which is Redemption featuring SZA. Um SZA's dope, you know what I mean? Um but yeah, I, I think right now Liddy T trying to juice up her phone or whatever. Um she, here she goes, she's coming back. You know what I mean? Um, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's cool, it's cool. Um but I know you said you had some in- entertainment news that you wanted to get into. Yeah, I was um, running. I ran across um just recently. What's his name? Rap Dog from Toronto. Raw Dog. Am I saying his name correctly? No, that's not his name. What is his name? I don't know. It's something dog. Sleep Dog. No, he did it's now. It's not Sleep Dog. What? Raw Dog. I- raw Dog. Right. Yeah, Raw Dog from Toronto. Toronto's rapper Raw Dog. Yeah. It was murder. Hank the boy that's cool with Drake, cool right? With Drake. Artist cool with Drake. And I was doing a little like research on him and everything like that, and he really was trying to make a difference. He was really was doing something different. He was happy about it. He was he wasn't marked like he wasn't like it's not like he like he sold his soul like we talked about this like a few of these rappers have mm-hmm. these mm-hmm. marks on themselves that you know. They're hitting marks. Yeah, they don't be understanding. They putting the upside down right. crosses on their fucking faces, and you cannot do you that. know you all cannot types. Do of, that. You know they don't. They, you know what it is is they they just seeing. They think that's the cool shit to do. You know but what I'm saying? For, for a short period of fame, they're actually selling their souls, as I call it. And this young man, like he really was trying to make a difference in his life, and he was taken out of here. Mm-hmm. And that's like what the third murder and. What the last week or so? And a month. It's it's been quite a few in, yeah, a, in a month. Quite a few that has been. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And it's and this is all under the age of twenty four. And it's all in they all rappers. You know what I'm saying? It's all in the hip hop shit. It, yeah. it, it's crazy, yo. Um, yo, like the the, the negative energy on, in the world right now is is on a beam. Yeah. It's just on a beam right now, yo. It's crazy. And speaking of triple X, um. Murder. They swore that you know, for him that he was sodomized in, in jail. Damn. And, you know, they was just like you know, it was supposed to be had been a hit from Kodak Black. Man, that's crazy, yo. Yeah. That's crazy. So he was loved. Triple X was loved. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean? Um, he was a little confused individual. You know, um, like I said on the last episode, right. episode seventy two, mm-hmm. where I was talking about sometimes these artists they speak. They're deaf into existence. Right. You got to be careful because words is powerful. Yeah. Like I said, I love Tupac. I love Biggie. I mean, they always spoke about death and they didn't even reach 25. No. You know, I mean, they did reach 25, right? They both. Tupac. Tupac reached 25. Not Biggie. Not Biggie. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. And look at they, look at they, you know, the shit they ready to die. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Biggie's, uh, Biggie's album was crazy. Ready to die. Tupac talked about death all the time. Right. You know what I mean? It was all in his lip. And what happens is, man, you, you put that out there, it happened. You speaking things into existence. Right. And this this young fellow, I didn't never listen to his music, but from what I'm reading, mm-hmm. that's the same she was doing. Like they said, he got a song called Sad, and it was he did a video, and it was his funeral. And then he's actually dead now. Like, that's yeah. crazy. That's, that's creepy. Yeah. That's real creepy. That's real crazy, yo. And um, also, too, the young man, um, Junior, that was murdered at the Dobega. Bodega? Not the Dobega. Damn. Bodega store. How about the store owner wants sympathy now, saying he really was trying to save the young man? Mm. Because, you know, they're actually saying that that store should be held accountable because they have footage of him actually running and jumping behind the counter. Damn. You know, and he was just saying pretty much that he knew him and he saw the fear in his eyes. Mm-hmm. So, why'd you still let them guys come in here and get him? Yeah, probably got scared. Probably and, was scared. 
Yes. You know what I'm saying? And, and sad to say, like, yeah. that's he, he was an OG. You lived your life. This mm-hmm. is a baby. Mm-hmm. When, 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 when a point in time in your life does it come for you to say, you know, I live my life kind of sort of, I know I'll be leaving on, but damn, I, I, I think I got to say this young person's life. Mm-hmm. Nobody want to sacrifice or, or try to help really no more. Mm-hmm. It's all about self. It's all about self. You know what I'm saying? This young man was 15 years old. Ain't really even experience like that. Now he's gone. And you're still alive talking about well, I really did try to save him. How? How'd you try to save him? You ain't pick up nothing. I'm quite sure he had a, a, a weapon, a gun. But if somebody of color would have came in and tried to rob your ass, you would have shot him. Mm-hmm. But you didn't try to save him. Miss me with the bullshit. Miss me with it. You know, I don't. In the same way with this, the, the, the lady um, that called the cops on the young girl that was selling waters in front of her house. Yo, she's a straight sucker, yo. I didn't. I fake called the cops, or I really didn't know. And you crying all over. What's the sympathy? I'm glad. But she got social media. page going on there. Yo, she, I'm glad social media yeah. put her ass out there. Seriously. It said she had a business where she was selling reefer, selling weed to dogs. You know what I'm saying? Like, she. Yo, I'm glad. So that's when social media works. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Um, they put her ass full on blast. Yeah. Everybody was posting that shit like, "How? Oh, you? Oh, okay. That's what you doing? Mm-hmm. You you calling the cops on a young girl that's yeah. selling water? Yeah. It was another incident too where a young um, young boy was uh, mowing lawn and he accidentally mowed a little bit of grass off the neighbor's lawn and the cops was calling on him. People got to stop. You yeah. calling kid cops on kids now? Why? Because yeah. here's the thing: cops is Detaining kids at ten years. What about that that young boy that was detained at ten years old and he had him peeing on himself? Mm. It's sad out here. It's like y'all get paid to protect and serve, mm-hmm. not get paid to harass and just kill. Y'all fucking murder. Y'all becoming y'all murderers. Mm-hmm. It's like now. It's like I gotta worry about my Dump. life. Yeah, and worry about if the cop either gonna save me or kill me. Crazy. You sh- it shouldn't be like that. Shouldn't be like it that. It should not be like that. You gotta yeah. worry about if something do happen, is a cop gonna fucking help you or kill you? Yeah. Cause yeah. you asking for help. Yeah. And if he having a bad day or she having a bad day, is they gonna really help you? Yeah. Who wants to live like that? That's that's the times we live in now. You know what I'm saying? That's that's just the way it is now, yo. It's crazy. It's real crazy. So, um, also too, um, I ran across an article. Mm-hmm. Um, Rashida, we all know Rashida from Love and Hip Hop. You know, she actually was an artist at one point, um, but she actually has a boutique now. Mm-hmm. And, and she actually opened up, she has one in Atlanta, and she actually opened up another one in Texas. Dope. So, here on social media, why, 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 two young um, black women, they said they drove two hours away from their own um, hometown to. Uh, Atlanta to a um, either at an eatery place, this famous eatery place, and to actually go to Press ATL, which is Rashida's um, boutique, her her store. And the mother was there, and the two young women was upset because the mother said she didn't want to take a picture with them. So now here you're on social media saying, "Oh, Rashida, mom, ignorant. She's an ignorant bitch." First of all, that's her mother. Yeah. She doesn't have to take a picture, right? She does. Not at all. That's her store. Her mother's working. Yeah. You know, she's old school. She probably not with all that picture shit. Yeah. Why would you disrespect and call this woman out of her name? Because she don't want to take a picture yeah. with you. Now she's an ignorant. That's um that's not professional. Whoever they, these two chicks, they need they ass be. <laughs> and I actually commented on their page. I actually commented on the page. I said, listen, first of all, they're out of pocket for disrespecting Rashida's mother. That's number one. And mm-hmm. number, number two, Rashida, go get the strap. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You, you disrespect my mom like that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm coming for you. Yeah, go get the because strap. Because of a picture? You <laughs> oh, need a light. Go get your life right. Yeah. You, t- you drove two hours away. I'm just going to drive two hours and go eat eat something and then go in the store and here's the thing I don't think the chicks bought anything out of the store you didn't even support so now you're mad you mad on top because she didn't want to take a picture and you so, still didn't even support you didn't buy nothing out of her store so you know what that tells me you know what that tells me they didn't they never went to the store to go 
the want to buy anything. No. They were just going to the store to get a photo out for their Instagram. There you go. They was assuming that Rashida wanna was going to be in there. Want to be Instagram, Facebook yeah. famous. And you just want to just want to post up a picture. Look where I'm at. Look at me now. Look you know, me. that's the whole thing now. Nowadays, Fake. it's Fake. look at me. It's, yep. it's look at me and, and likes. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers be corny as shit in person. Yep. Motherfuckers ain't got no personality. You don't even know how to hold a general yeah. conversation. Motherfuckers is corny. You they know dead what I'm inside. They dead inside. They alive, but dead inside. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's so many people out here that can't hold a conversation with. They book like, bags be coffins. But, but they can hold the whole text conversation with you. Whole text conversation with the text slingo, lingo and all that shit. Yeah. But damn, I'm, like damn, in person it's like you, you a fucking mannequin. Yeah, pretty much. You know what yeah. I mean? A mannequin with a brain. I see it all the time. It's crazy, I see yo. A robot. Yeah. A robot. So look, <laughs> you ready to wrap this up? I know you got a little something. I mean, damn. That- Man, we, oh yeah. damn, time flying. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, that's what we was doing. rolling, rocking and rolling. I even realized that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's wow, how I, that I, just, I just glanced over and shit. Like, right. God damn, yeah, it's you know, um, it's about that, you know, about that time and shit. Okay. About to wrap things up. Okay. But before we wrap things up, uh, Lady T got something special. Yeah, I just real quick, you know this man? little memo I want to share with y'all, real quick or whatever, mm-hmm. right across. It goes like this. Having a deep conversation with someone who has a brilliant, brilliant mind and a beautiful soul is a new way of making love. Mm, that's so powerful. That's really powerful. Mm-hmm. It really is. So I just um, want that to marinate in your heads out there. Yeah. Because I actually mentioned that in early the, on. Early on. Yeah. Yeah. So it ties to that 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 uh, reading that yes. what's that meme or whatever. Right. That's how I said what you were saying early on and shit. And y'all know how we like to do this. Dream hard. And don't sleep forever. Peace. Peace. You, you, you are now an official hood genius. Thanks for listening. Make sure you subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Y'all know what to do. Hit that follow button.